Hello Aquarius and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your reading for or your relationship reading for May 22nd through May 31st. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. And during meditation, Spirit showed me a Pegasus. And that Pegasus to me symbolizes peace and stability in life but really the energy that i connected with was like forward movement it's it's almost like you got your second one or you're going to get your second one that's that's what i picked up the energy that i connected with was and uh, I don't want to say power, but it was an invigorating um, energy, like one with enthusiasm m mixed in with confidence. It's like, yes, I can do this. Do you know what I mean? Like that was the energy I connected with. So if that is your energy, yay, congratulations. If, uh, if I have not connected with your energies, please go ahead and click that subscribe button to make sure that I am able to embrace your energies during the readings. Also, uh, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if uh, this particular reading does not resonate with you. These are general readings after all, okay? So your first oracle card is persist. May your ripples build the swell. That's what I was getting with the, with the Pegasus. It's almost like forward movement. It's like whatever you've gone through, you're like, it's okay. I'm, I'm trudging forward. I'm moving forward regardless. I'm, I'm going with it. I'm, I'm working with what I have and I'm, I'm just moving forward regardless of what that looks like for you, even if it's hard work. Although... I'm not getting a lot of resistance, okay? I am getting some resistance, but not a lot of resistance. All right, we have true love. Um, this is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. All right, so Spirit is saying that for some of you who are currently in a relationship, maybe you had hit a moment where there was a dip, right? We, we all go through hills and valleys in relationships as well as in life. If you're currently in a relationship and you've been in a relationship, maybe you've hit some, some valleys, but somehow you've worked through them. And if you work through them, then you know that, that uh, this person was willing to work through it, same as you. And if you were both willing to work on it, then this is worth going through. All right? If this person is not willing to do the work as as much as you are just because you know they're your love doesn't necessarily mean you have to stay of course tarot is suggestion it isn't necessarily um i mean it's guidance you can take it or leave it i should say right take it or leave it it's totally up to you however it is you want to do it because everybody's situation is so completely different okay that's what that's what I have here so let's take a look all right we have your cards so what I'm doing uh today or this week not today this week for for this reading I'm pulling four cards since I'm doing the 22nd through the 31st which is about a week and a half um I don't like to I always like to, I should say, I, I like to end the month. Um, so if the readings are a week and a half, you know, if it's a week, then fantastic. If it ends on the 31st, if the week is midweek, I will always go to the 31st and then I will do another reading from the first on starting in June. Uh, but I, I don't like to mix the months. Most people don't do that. That's just how I work it. All right, if um, you are currently not in a relationship, what this is saying is keep going. Keep going. You know, you might have hit a dry spell, but it's it's like you've had maybe rocky relationships in the past or, 
or you know maybe you know you've you've had issues with um with finding the right person or going out there and and connecting with the right people but this is saying keep going keep doing your thing because true love is right around the corner okay okie dokie so what do we have we have the uh four of swords three of wands in reverse two of pentacles in reverse and seven of pentacles okay What I'm seeing here is that there has been moments of maybe stress or maybe being overwhelmed or maybe you've just felt alone, right? Whether you were in a relationship or not, I'm getting the sense that, you know, maybe you have felt alone. And if you, if you're in a relationship, it's like, you haven't been able to see one another's point of views and maybe you or them or both, I don't know, take it how it resonates, but it's both the three of wands and the two of pentacles are about the third eye. So it, it's, it's almost like you're not following your own intuition. It's not, it, it's almost like you're not really paying attention to the reality of the situation, right? Whether it's your reality, their reality, or the reality as a totality. Um, but I, I am seeing that there's been, you know, a, a lack of balance or just bad decision-making. Again, you or them, I'm picking up that this is as a, a, a couple um, if you're in a relationship where both of you are a little bit not seeing eye to eye is what I'm seeing here. I feel like you, you aren't seeing eye to eye. You're choosing not to see eye to eye. Um, and, and I feel like this is mainly about pride is what I'm getting here. But it, it's almost like even still, you're still working through this and you're, you're seeing that like, it's like at first when you weren't seeing eye to eye, it's almost like you were saying, is it, is this worth it? it? I feel like this is too hard, you know, things of that nature. But then it's almost like you go, we, we passed this hurdle. We can keep going. If both of you choose to keep going together and work through it together and really make an efforted, um, go at it. It's, if you do, then there's, this relationship will grow, okay? If you are single and you've come to this reading as a single person or a brand new relationship, um, rest assured that even though you've been in a lack situation where you haven't had a partner, rest Rest the idea that you're not going to find somebody. Set those fears aside. And it's time to start doing things for you. Go do things that make you happy. The moment you start making, making plans to make yourself happy and you follow through with them. And, and this doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money to do it. Okay. Um, even if, even if you don't have a lot of money, that doesn't mean that you can't go and do things. This means go, just go do something simple. Go to the park, go do something that makes you happy. Even if that means that you sit at Starbucks and you drink a cup of coffee and you're reading a book, something that simple, you never know who's going to come up to you. Maybe they're interested in your book and they start chatting you up, whatever that looks like. All right. And you're going to see that doing something as simple as that and getting outside of your, your normal, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Aquarius, um, 
your normal realm, you know, your, your four little, you know, your room, your, you know, four, your four walled room. If you get out of that, you're going to start seeing that things start like your, your vibrations start raising and you're going to attract the person that you're wanting to attract. And then some, I feel like you're going to even attract more people than you're wanting, but uh, I'm getting that with the seven of pentacles, but you're going to be able to distinguish which is worth the, the time and which ones are not. All right. Then we, have, we have the 10 of pentacles, the strength card, full card and two of sword. Listen, I told you, you're going to have, you're going to have to make a decision. I told you, I feel, I felt like with the seven of pentacles, it's, it's like you're, you're going to be attracting, you're going to be raising your vibrations and you're going to be attracting more than one suitor, but you're going to have to choose uh, with this two of swords. But whatever it is, it's almost like you're um, getting a wish come true. Um, it's because the Ten of Cups is, did I say Ten of Pentacles? I meant Ten of Cups. I don't even know what I said. Um, maybe I'm reading it as a, a Ten of Pentacles, but I am seeing Ten of Cups. Um, cause I'm seeing abundance. I'm seeing, uh, fruitfulness. I'm seeing happiness. It's like, you're so freaking close and it's, it's like your patience is being, is being rewarded. And there's a new beginning here with this fool, but I'm telling you, you're, you have a decision to make, okay? You have a decision to make. For those that are in a relationship, it's almost like, like I said with the Pegasus, you got your second win. This relationship got its second win, and it's coming out stronger if you decide to be patient with one another and work through this and choose to begin again, right? But it's a choice. You have to decide whether that's something you want to do, choose to begin again, all right? Um, we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. I told you, didn't I tell you? I told you that with the Pegasus. It's, it's like life is speeding up. It's like you have forward motion, forward momentum. And it's, it's like it's a good momentum. It's like solid. I am seeing a, a several twos here. So... Be very mindful. Two is actually a really great number. It's it's a number of balance. Number six is also a number of balance. But I'm I'm getting I'm getting that in about two two weeks, two months, um, things are really going to be solid. Like really, really solid is what I'm getting here. All right, we have the five of wands, the queen of coins, and the ace of coins. Yep. Go out there. Go be playful. Whether you're in a relationship or single, go be playful. Go do things that are, you know, adventurous. Um, these guys always make me feel like they're playing with, like, um, what's the thing that they use in the, uh, return of the jet? No, yeah. Return of the Jedi, or I guess any star Wars movies, the lightsabers. It's like they're playing with the lightsabers. Um, but I see like, you know, you guys are in a group and playing and enjoying yourselves. And this really elevates your vibrations. You go, you go to the queen of coins energy and it's almost like you're sitting there and, and, and doing things to really appease you, appease yourself. That's when this very, very incredibly, um, stable offer comes to you. I'm telling you something's coming to you, whether it's two weeks or two months, it's coming. I mean, it could even be two days, but I'm getting two weeks, two months. So take it how it resonates. All right, Aquarius, this was your reading for May 22nd through May 31st. I hope this did resonate. If it did, go ahead and leave a comment. Until we meet again, bye.